Uh, I was really drawn to this because I read uh, the original Larry Project when I was going to school in New York and I was really touched by the play because it was completely factual. It was all transcribed from people's stories and uh, it was a story that was very touching to me. So I was very interested to find out that they had gone back 10 years later um, and not just kind of let this story go. So I thought it was really interesting about this play, how individuals and how communities choose to remember things that they don't want to. Difficult events, difficult things that have happened in their past, and how with time that changes. Um, the epilogue to the Laramie Project definitely gives the audience a different perspective and allows them to reflect on the events of 10 years later a little bit differently. Uh, the whole issue of gay rights is still as prevalent as it now as it was back in 1998, if not more so. I mean, it's such a hotly debated topic in politics. A lot of states are now legalizing gay marriage, which is great. We made a lot of progress since 1998, but it's still nowhere near, where, nowhere near where it needs to be, so we still have to talk about it and make people aware of it. I didn't know uh, anything about the Larry Project before I became part of this production. The, the characters aren't just characters. They're real people. They're not just archetypes or tropes that uh, some writer came up with and put on paper. Uh, when I heard about the epilogue, I was like, oh, I, I know that story. I, I didn't know that there was more story to be told, but 10 years later, people are still living, things are still affecting them, and so it was really interesting to see that something that I had forgotten about, you know, was still going on.